All right, everybody, this is Father Christian, and this is Father Todd. And we are back for a T3T <laughs> to be the T3 of all three T's. No way! We're talking Holy Week, we're talking Listening Tree, all that's coming up right here, right now. Stay tuned. By the time you two weeks in a row for you being on the T3T, I feel like this is like this is this is definitely something's different that, that's going on. It is a it's a very special time for us. It is a special time. You know, I miss all this craziness and chaos. There's, there's some good things that kind of blossom out of this, right? You know, there are. There are always. You know, we have we have a God of redemption about love and all. This, so the the bad stuff is never the major winning theme. It's always you know the good stuff that is redemption and grace and mercy that allows God's life to shine. So yeah, you know, we never know exactly how it's going to show itself, but we know um, that God's going to win. That's there. I, I, th I think you, you preached a sermon about that today. Maybe once or twice. We're going to the final week of our Lenten series. All this formation that we've been doing. Oh, Can you believe my it? Gosh. This so the Lenten series. Let me think. I'm, so we've had such stellar speakers, and I'm just stellar. trying to think of, you know, how in the world who is it that we could possibly get to be able to really kind of wrap this thing up and bring it with power and panache and just kind of, just really a full service banquet of the grace and mercy of God. Who could, I mean, really a heavy hitter kind of speaker who could lead us during that time. I, you know, I, I who could that be, do you think? Well, uh, we ran out of money, so we had to get me. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> our, our, our Lenten speaker budget was used on everyone else. And they're like, oh, we pay too much money for Darla Cedarberg. So not, well, not too was? much, Is but we had, we had to spend big time on her. <laughs> I see. Brandon costs an arm and a leg. Uh, and you get him on the private. He's a Renovari guy. He's got he's getting a certificate, you know. And then then you are that's not cheap. And then Darcy Ware, she's I mean, come on. So so I I, I uh, I'll try to do my best. Uh, but just know, you know, I I, I was more the. The free it's, guy you found on Craigslist. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. So, so Christian, what are you planning on doing? Well, since this has been such an awesome slate of speakers, and there's been all these great <laughs> topics, that I, I really want to bring it all together. Uh, from Father Todd starting us off with talking about emotionally healthy spirituality, uh, to Darla having her ladies uh, talk about their, their own experience of transformation spiritually, and, and really the wounds in their life have led them into a deeper relationship uh, and deeper formation. And then, obviously, we had uh, Darcy Weir talking about, so where do you find the image of God within yourself, and where does your own selfies get in the way? of that and, and or help and then of course Brandon talking a lot about uh, fear and hope and do we do we do we have this hope of that that we are being formed do we trust that God is really forming us into something beautiful uh, and so I want to just keep that movement going of saying what does it look like to really be beloved and can we now take all this good stuff that's been taught to us and really implement it to our heart and as we get ready for Easter, do you accept that you are truly beloved, that you are really loved by God? That's pretty cool. And, and you know, if I were going to get myself into a really good um, attitude in mind to come to that Wednesday evening service of spiritual centering, it'd be great musically to be able to have a, oh, yes. to have a, you know, just, a, just, a, yeah. I wish, you know, sometimes I could just have like a half an hour right about lunchtime oh, and I could hear some be, great music. Yes, Wouldn't that, be that great? would be wonderful. Yeah, yeah. noon time just to like... Just, just because you, you need that kind of noontime prayer anyhow, you know, and so you can just allow this music to wash over you. Where, where can you find that? I don't. I, he, Brandon. 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 Leave it to Brandon. He's, he's always know, coming he's, through. He's always got something always, going yeah. on. Yeah. And so we got a concert, mm -hmm. a mini concert mm -hmm. that's coming up this Wednesday at noon. It's the final one, the last one for us to be able to kind of check in to hear. Uh, so here's some really wonderful music to that that touches our hearts and our minds. There's uh, a violinist who's coming in in order to be able to help us, and it's it's a great introduction. And a classic guitarist. And a classic guitarist. Yeah, no way, we got two things? Yes. Yeah, so a twofer. I think that's like nine strings all together. Are there wow. five strings on a guitar and four on a violin? I don't, know. I don't know. Did I get that right? Leave a comment below if I got that right or wrong. <laughs> uh, so nine strings. That's the name of the concert, nine wow. strings. We are gonna it's be not the name of the concert. We are going to be strumming along, man. Strumming, yeah, we're yeah, strumming so along. Great. Yes. Right, no right, right. strings attached. No, we're just picking away at this. So um, <laughs> the, the second thing I think we need to know about this week is that you preached about it this 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 today while we're shooting this on a Sunday, but this idea of where do we how do we find beauty in in our daily walk of of Corona tide, yeah. and for us to really share that with one another because we know about all the other stuff, but how do we encourage our us as Saint Marians to kind of share that? beauty with one another. It's really, I think it's really important. It's the way that you can keep yourself from going crazy. 
uh, because we do feel like this cloud is kind of kind of closing in on us, and it's it's easy with all of the, the the numbers of diagnoses and numbers of deaths continue to kind of bombard us, you know. So for us as as people of faith who who live out the resurrection, you know, to be able to to rest in the beauty and the life-giving vitality that God has, uh, as, that he gives to us as a gift. So I challenge the people who are part of the services that I was a part of to take these phones of ours mm -hmm. and to be able to go out and take pictures of, of something of beauty. And in fact, at the contemporary service, I said three pictures a day for this coming week as part of the, the discipline for us for this week to be able to, to, to identify, instead of all of the new stuff that's coming out of the phones, to be able to identify mm -hmm. things of beauty that can uplift us. I love um, Anne Frank, who's, who was a 14-year-old uh, who, for over two years in the Netherlands, lived in this attic hiding out from the Nazis. They had, talk about clouds mm -hmm. um, kind of coming in on them. But she would be able every once in a while to peek out and to be able to see this world of beauty. And she said this, this is one of her, this is a quote. She said, the best, ray, the best remedy for those who are afraid, lonely, or unhappy is to go outside somewhere they can be quite alone with the heavens, nature, and God. Because only then does one feel that all is as it should be and that God wishes to see people happy amidst the simple beauty of nature. As long as this exists, and it certainly always will, I know that there will be comfort for every sorrow, whatever the circumstances might be. Mm. Amazing wisdom from this young gal. And so for us, in the midst of hunkering down to realize the big theme is God's beauty and his wonder and, and his love for us, and not to allow the darkness to kind of cramp us down, to open ourselves up, mm -hmm. and to be able to share that um, with the people who are around us. Um, and so then and that, that focus on beauty then takes us into this coming Sunday, mm -hmm. which is hard to believe. It's Palm Sunday. You know, so it's, so we're, we're coming to this reality that all of the services for Palm Sunday, Holy Week, Easter, they're all going to be online, and it's going to be with a, 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 a trimmed-down staff, just a few of us, that are going to be able to be together on camera. And so... So the importance of being able to do these exercises with your family or at home if you're alone, to be able to do these things to be able to, uh, to prepare. So Palm Sunday is this coming Sunday, so you'll be taking pictures and being able to see the things of beauty while you're doing that. Uh, go out and grab some palms. I yeah. mean, there are some, some great trees. I mean, we live, for crying out loud, we live in... in, in, in the, you the, can't do this back home in Michigan. You cannot. Uh, no, you were not going to tell your parish in no. Michigan, guys. Just go out in your backyard, cut down some palms, and you can join us with Pork Palm no, Sunday. This is beauty right in front of us. You can go in your backyard, many of you, if not down the street, and pick a palm. And now you got a palm for Palm Sunday. And then you could probably, I'm sure, there are some pretty good YouTube videos, and we'll try to remember to post something on this of how to make the crosses. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there's a slew of stuff, probably just in the Episcopal Church alone, of how to make the little crosses. What a great little family activity that you can have either with your spouse, uh, with yourself, or with your children, and say, now I want everyone to make five crosses this week, and uh, so to prepare ourselves for Palm Sunday. Yeah. And, it, and, that, and that's free. That is free. That's Absolutely free. free. No charge for that. No charge. Yeah. That we know of. Third thing we got going on, you know, I, I teased you about this before, that, you know, when you, I like that image of, of, of a cat uh, on, on like uh, when they're on the scratching post, <laughs> scratching away on it, and I was wondering if there's a way we can do that for the listening post that we got coming up, where you can have this post of someone, but it's but it's a person listening, and instead of the cat nails, it's like their ear. Wouldn't it be? Would you, would you think Darla and Cindy and John Lockwood would be really a fan of that since they're leading this thing called the listening post? That that could that could be the branding for our number three thing we need to tell them. Like so, so, so ear to a post, like scratching your ears. Scratching that's what the list. That's what the listening post is, right? Well, that's. I mean, that's a great image for how do you how do you how do you kind of get these get this stimulation that so it's not it's not on a chalkboard, right? It's no. on a, it's at a post, it's a like scratching an ear, post, like, 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 an like, ear. A, like a Stephen Ministry post. I, or something. Gotcha. I don't know. So I gotcha. go to the listening post. But the idea is that it, during times like this, uh, it's it's it. It's easy to, for us to feel isolated and, and just alone. So just to be able to pick up the phone, know that there's going to be a friendly voice on the other side that's going to be willing to, to just to just listen and just to be able to, to reflect back some, some caring. It's, you know, I need that. 
Um, you need that. We all need it at times to be able to to be able to just kind of know that there's somebody yeah. there. And so we want to make the listening post available for everybody. And so just try it out. You don't have to be going through a major crisis. Just try it out to be able to see, you know, what it feels like to have somebody who's caring on the other side, um, who's willing to take time uh, to be with just you. And uh, and you had talked last time, I think, about, about confidentiality and how important mm -hmm. that was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's uh, just know that the people who will be picking up the phone, uh, many of them are from the Stephen Ministry, and they anyone who's a part of this ministry knows the importance of confidentiality and to, to what happens in that phone call stays in that phone call. So rest assured that they've gone through so many hours of training, and that is just ingrained in the fabric of being a Stephen Minister and anyone who's part of any part of pastoral ministry of confident how important that is and for all of us as for us to remember that as Christians when we open up to one another we're part of a of a family here where we get more vulnerable with one another than we do with our average friends and associates yeah. and people sometimes with our own family we need to uh, hold those things dear to us and really hold that close and not share that freely um, unless someone gives you permission for it uh, those are, are, are the, the top three things that people need to chew on this week but uh, is there is there any you know, parting wisdom to, to send us off into this <laughs> next week of Corona Tide for to keep our minds right and our hearts right. Yeah, I, so I do. I do just think uh, that you know what holds us together. You know, we're we're. It's not the building, obviously. Uh, the building is uh, is now empty <laughs> most of the time, and uh, and uh, and it's not the just the social occasions that we have. I mean, we're not getting together very often to be able to socialize. Uh, it is Jesus. Jesus is the one who holds us together. And so, so as we kind of reflect on him, let him love on us. You know, let him take care of us and, and find ways of being able to continue to encourage each other in a safe way uh, during this time so that we can shine his light in the world. I may tell you, the, the world can be a really lonely place. Yeah. And so we need to continue to, to be loved on ourselves and then to be able to share that love with others. As they, in the words of Kathy Pignatero from an interview she gave, uh, she she allowed us she allowed us to interview her earlier this week is do something good every day. There you go. Just do yeah. something good, and you're doing it because Jesus is compelling you to do it. Uh, but that's what well, we need to all be doing something good all the time. It make you feel better, but the world needs it. And so one way is to pick up the phone and call. Just yeah. call. We keep on pushing that. That call ten people, call fifteen people could really benefit from hearing your voice right now. So yeah. So be that be that source of love and of Christ's love to them. That is the T3T, Father Todd. You are, you've got another one of the books. Wow. You are getting paid, paid, paid. That's incredible. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And I hope, so send us your pictures. Send us your pictures so that we can see them, and then we'll just continue to kind of pass on the good stuff. Yeah, so you can email Father Todd or myself and uh, send in these images of beauty that you got from your backyard, from your house, things that have just been like the beauty that has arisen out of this time that otherwise can be uh, look chaotic, but we look through kingdom lenses. The kingdom yeah. of God is not canceled. Many other things are canceled. The kingdom of yeah. God never canceled. So look through those kingdom lenses, see the beauty, and share it with us. God awesome. bless you all. Just know that we are praying for you and loving on you and leave a comment below of any kind of prayers that you need for us to lift up for you or any stories of beauty that you want to share. God bless you. We'll see you and talk to you this week. Peace. Bye.